Okay. I think it's time to get up. Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. As you guys can see my title up below, today is the start of finals week. Y'all already saw from the beginning of the video, I am not into it. I am so tired. Like, being at home doing school is not bad, but like, I just don't be wanting to get up to do any work. But I still do just to like keep myself on track for everything. But all I did was wake up, I got prepared, brush my teeth, wash my face, all that good stuff. And I ate some breakfast, I had oatmeal. Went to bed and now I'm about to do, I'm about to start my first test or I'm about to start studying for my first test and then I'm going to take it. It's for my interpersonal communications class. So it shouldn't be too bad. Like I didn't study, not going to lie, but it's only over three chapters that we did and it's only 10 questions on multiple choice and interpersonal communications, which is like just studying how we communicate with each other so hopefully it's not too difficult or anything but we'll see after i take it i don't know what to expect from finals now i think i'm more like slightly relaxed for finals now just because i can do it from the cover of my home instead of just like being in the class doing it because i feel like i don't know i've just been getting more nervous now taking tests and stuff in college i don't know i could do a whole video on that if y'all want like how i felt about the first year of school, the truth about it, anything like that, y'all let me know. Cause it's been, it's been different. It's been an adjustment. But I'm about to take you guys over there to the desk so we can start studying and then we'll start with the test and hopefully it will be good. I'll let y'all know how it went after that. Okay y'all, so I'm going to show y'all a little bit of me studying and I'm going to start the test. Y'all pray for me. Oh, and y'all, don't mind my desk, like, I still haven't gotten everything, like, organized how it's supposed to be since being back home, but yeah. <laughs> pages and look at words but the teacher just said we were able to use all of our handwritten notes to take the test so shouldn't be too hard i'm gonna start now just because i have other stuff to do today to get to some of the work so you know just get it done get it over with boom bang 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 boom period <laughs> okay um, i'll check back with y'all when i'm done with the test Okay, let me stop. I got stuff to do. Okay, y'all. So I am done with my first finals for the day. I got a 90 on it. So I am pretty happy because, and I think I kind of know which question it was because there was one question that was kind of like, it could be either one, but I couldn't really tell for real. But I'm really excited about that. 
So that's one class down. We have three more tests to go. And I keep showing you guys everything as the test go, me studying, how I'm getting prepared. My next test is tomorrow. But the thing about that test is it's like, we have to take that test at the same time that we would have taken it in class or whatever. So it was a night test. So tomorrow my test isn't until 7 p.m. And like, that's cool and all, but I'm gonna be going crazy all day just cause we haven't taken the test. So I don't know, it may work out, it may not. My teacher said it probably won't take us the whole three hours cause they give us three hours to take our finals. But since all that crazy stuff happened, it's gonna be cut in half. So we're only gonna be doing everything that we've done since being online. So she said it, it should only take about like an hour and a half or whatever. So, I think right now I'm going to work on an essay. I have like a take home essay for one of my classes that's due next week. So I'm going to work on that and I might study for my test tomorrow. I don't know, but I really just want to get this essay knocked out and out the way. So I'm excited. One test down. Three more to go, y'all. We're making it somehow, some way. Slightly. Not really, but we're making it. Okay, y'all. So. I hope y'all can't hear me. Okay, let me turn this down. I'm watching YouTube. But, so, y'all know I took my test earlier or whatever. It's still this first test day. And I took my test around like 11 something o'clock. I was done by 12 something. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It is 6.59. Like, let's see, y'all. It is 6.59. And I have not done anything like when I was done with that, I had to film a video to send to someone. Then I, like, I was going to start, not, I wasn't going to do nothing. I was watching YouTube videos, and I was playing a game, and then I fell asleep because I was tired. And I woke up, and I made some food. Then I made some waffles to go with our dinner for tonight, like a little chicken and waffles thing, and just for, like, waffles for breakfast and stuff. And I'm just now looking at this, and I really don't want to do it. But I am, like, it shouldn't be too bad because I kind of already started it but it's just the fact that I haven't touched it all day and I usually like to be done with doing work by like 8, 9 o'clock I don't like to do work after that because I'm not going to stress myself out with this work, not at all but I just wanted to let y'all know it's a struggle but I'll let y'all know how it goes later on or I might just catch back up with y'all tomorrow for the second Tuesday so yeah Okay, y'all, so it is day two of finals. I just woke up because I was up real late last night, y'all. Like, I was watching some Netflix with my parents because we just got hooked onto this new show. But I was also trying to work on my take-home essay because I didn't really work on that yesterday because, like, I was just so tired. Like, I was taking naps all day. So, I just woke up. I'm about to go get some breakfast. Then I'm going to check back in with y'all for how I'll be studying for my test today and get out some more information on that. Okay, y'all, so I just finished eating breakfast. It is now 4.59, about to be 5 o'clock, which means I have two hours to cram in as much as I can for this test. The next test that I'm going to be taking is my Spanish test. So, like the way that I see Spanish, okay, I feel like if you didn't know it the day before, you're not gonna know it on the test. You might if you like if you like really try, but like that's just the way I see it because it's like a whole different language. So if you don't know that language, like you just S O L, you feel me? So I don't know. I'm about to start studying. I'm gonna do Duolingo to try to study for the test, and then I'm gonna look through the textbook again, and hopefully that is good enough for me. And then after that, I'm telling y'all for the rest of the day. I mean, there won't be much day after that because it's from seven to ten. Is the time that we have to take the test. After that, I'm just gonna eat breakfast, probably watch some shows with my parents again, take a shower, go to sleep. Like, I'm gonna be done. And then I'll start studying, not studying, but I'll finish my essay for my other class tomorrow. So, yeah, y'all, I really hope this goes well because it's like my Spanish class. Like, I've been doing really good in Spanish so far. I have an A. Right now, if it's not an A, it's a high B. It's either a low A or high B, whatever. I have a good grade, but like, you know, everything rides on this final, so I gotta do good. So now I'm just gonna start studying now. I'm gonna show y'all 
a little bit of it and maybe yeah so i'm not i'm gonna switch over to like start studying differently for spanish because i haven't really used duolingo in a hot second just because you know the track on duolingo is different from how you would learn it in class but i try to like jump back on it and use it again and i don't really like it because apparently you have to like have hearts in order to practice it which doesn't make sense how you want me to practice spanish but I have to wait to practice it whatever so if you can see like it says you have no hearts left so basically i can't like practice nothing else on duolingo so now i'm gonna be on here i'm so sorry if the tv is too loud but now i'm gonna be on here on my laptop and on the textbook there are like different practice quizzes and stuff you could do and i'm gonna start using this to practice and it will be more accurate for what i'm trying to do than using duolingo so that's what i'm about to do right now wish me luck y'all <laughs> okay y'all so we just had a little test scare everybody in my class so like i told y'all our test was supposed to be at seven o'clock right so over here and it was over here it was under here in exam and final or whatever it was it said seven o'clock right so everybody's studying because it's 6 37 now and then we see this problem that says this is the final exam but it says six so everybody's freaking out, trying to figure out what's going on. Some people said, refresh it, it turns back to 7. I refreshed it, it's still at 6. So we had to email the teacher. She said that the test was put in central time. So it's going to start 6 p.m. for central time, people. It's still going to be 7 p.m. for us. So all good. All is good right now. But... We just had a little scare real quick right before the test. That was not the best thing to have for the test. Because, like, we wasted at least a good 10 minutes thinking about that and not thinking about, like, studying or whatever. But at this point, I'm just going to relax myself. Because for, like, tests, recently I've been getting, like, really nervous. So I'm going to relax myself for this time. And then I'll be back to start the test. I won't be taking it like I won't be showing y'all me while I'm taking the test because for Spanish we have to like record our room and everything to show that there's no electronics near or around us while we're taking the test. But when I'm done, I'll check back in with y'all, let y'all know how I felt about it, and just go on with the rest of the night. Cause at this point, it's late, baby. <laughs> but I'll see y'all when I'm done with the test. Okay, y'all. So I'm done with my Spanish test. It was better than i thought not gonna lie i didn't finish my switch test like a minute ago it's um 1 39 a.m right now but i took the test like i already told y'all before there was already that little ooh, there's already that little mishap and scare that everybody had with the test changing and it changed to six o'clock but it was central time or whatever but what made it even worse is if anybody knows if you go to a big school or anything like that or you just no online you've tried to like watch buy anything online when like it's like a big drop and everybody's trying to do it at the same time you know the internet crashes so that's what happened with this so the thing is like i said we have to record ourselves so you're supposed to start recording yourself and your screen and all that before you start the test so i started at like at i started at at 6 58 and then I like press record at 6.59 just so that I'll be on time to start my test at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock rolls around. I can't click on the test. Like, test doesn't let me click on. So, I decided to refresh the page. Doesn't refresh. X out my browser. Start my browser back up. Try to go in. It's not loading at all. I look at the group chat. I see that everybody's having the same problem. No one can get into the test. Some people couldn't even start their recording. Nobody knows what's going on because everybody was trying to get in the test at the same time. So it's like, so are you going to give me more time to take my test? Even though like you should be able to finish it in three hours for the Spanish test that we had. Like I finished it in about an hour and a half ish. And that was me like taking my slow, slow time re-looking over everything. But it was just a mess, y'all. Other, like, a whole lot of teachers did different things. My teacher, she opened up the test to be due until, I don't know what time, but 
sometime on Saturday it's going to be due instead of it being this Friday that it's due. And then some teachers I heard were just like, oh, don't worry about recording yourself. Just take the test so you can get it over with. I don't know what other people are doing, but I hope everybody did good. I think I did pretty good. There was only like maybe a couple questions I was confused on, but a lot of it was like grammar. So it wasn't too hard, like figuring out which word doesn't like belong in the group, which word explains this, what verb goes to which sentence type of situations. So it wasn't too difficult. And then of course we had our little grammar things that doing like past tense, subjunctive, pre present participle or is past participle. I don't know. Just a whole lot of different stuff like that. It wasn't too bad. And now I'm just happy that that's over with. So now I have two more classes to take for tests. I have my public speaking class and I have my multicultural American literature class, which is kind of like a two part test. So I'm not going to bring y'all over the weekend because I'm not taking any tests over the weekend. And I don't want this vlog to be like really long. But when I take my next test, I'm not sure when that will be. I'll let y'all know how that goes then. But so far, online tests have been okay. They haven't been as bad as like everybody has been thinking it's going to be. So, we Gucci. I'm probably going to watch some YouTube and then go to sleep. So, I'll wake back up tomorrow and finish that essay that y'all saw me trying to do the other night. But we're just chilling for right now. I've done really good so far. I'm proud of myself. So... Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Okay, let me stop. I'll see y'all when I'm ready to take my next test. Okay, y'all. So today is the third day of finals. Hopefully, the last day, but I'm gonna just get right into it real quick because I'm actually a little bit late for taking my first test today. My first test today is for public speaking, and it shouldn't be too hard. It's like 30 something questions, all multiple choice, open book. One question you actually have to do, write something out for, but it's not that hard, and there's extra credit. So it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to hop right into it real quick. Like I said, I'm a little bit late, and I'll give y'all more information on the rest of the day when I'm done taking the test. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I just told y'all I was finna start taking my test, right? So, I'm sitting here. I got my computer out, my notebook. I'm ready. I got my tabs open. I'm ready to start my test, right? Tell me why when I come on here, I see that the test is tomorrow. It's not even today. So that's not bad though, because that means that I was like prepared and I have more time, even though, like I said, this test is open book, so I don't need none of that time. But if you heard me say earlier, I said that it should be the last day of finals. And I wasn't too worried about this final for it being the last day. It's because I have another final for my English my multicultural English my multicultural literature class yeah but it's like an English class so I always get confused but my multicultural literature class I have a test for that and we can pick what time we take the test we have from I think Friday last week and we have until Friday this week I think to take it but that test I know is gonna get on my nerves so I'm gonna take it today because I am trying to be over that class like I had so much stress stress from that class, like Spanish was hard, but that class was hard because we didn't really have a guideline for the class, we didn't have a structure, anything. She was just giving us stuff at random times, so I never knew what to expect, and I just want to be done with that class. I finished writing the essay for the take home part of the final yesterday, and I'm getting it looked over and edited and all that today. But I'm going to do that final today because I'm trying to be over with it. I do not want to take that test tomorrow. I'm fine with taking the public speaking test tomorrow because, like I said, it's not a hard one. So I'm fine with taking that one tomorrow. But that English test is going to be taken today. I'll probably take it around 2 o'clock. It is 12.24 right now. So I'm probably just going to go and eat some breakfast because, like, y'all, like, I literally just hopped out the bed, brushed my teeth, washed my face real quick use bathroom just because I was like oh my gosh like I'm late I gotta start this test so I'm actually going downstairs get some breakfast and then I'll come back up relax a little bit and then I'll take the test because I'm trying to be done with these finals y'all like 
I'm trying to get to my break because I I did sign up for basically like a whole full time of class for the for the summer too since they're all online because I'm trying to get some classes over with because during the school year I tend to be more busier because I had two jobs on campus I was in a lot of different clubs and organizations and programs and I like to be involved so in order for me to be involved in the school year I have to do my work you know in the summer when I'm not really having to do as much so the quicker i can get finals over with the quicker i can actually get my little break before summer classes start when i'm ready to take the next test i will let y'all know and i'll let y'all know about how that test is supposed to go and all that so yeah okay y'all so i just finished eating breakfast i took a quick nap because i got a little tired and i want to be energized and i'm about to get ready to start this test we only have two hours to take this test. We really should be getting three, but I'm not gonna say anything. But for this test, my multicultural English, my multicultural literature class, it's five questions. They're supposed to be like discussion questions. So we should be answering with like a paragraph or so to fully answer it. Five questions. She said it's 10 points for each question. And yeah, each question is over a different reading that we've done since coming back from like the break and all that. So hopefully it's not too bad, y'all. This class, I've had too much luck with the with the like other tests that we've done because they've been like written stuff that are time. I'm not good with time writing. People say my writing is good, but I don't think it's that good. But it's whatever. Hopefully I do better on this because it's not so much of how the other tests were. Like the other tests were more doing essays or multiple different essays on top of paragraphs and stuff. This one is just five questions each with like a paragraph sort of answer, two hours. So I should have about like 20 something minutes to focus on each question. So shouldn't be too bad y'all. I'm gonna start taking the test and I'll check back in with y'all when I'm done, let y'all know how it is. Cause honestly, after that, I'm gonna feel good about finals because that's, like I said, that was at the final that was stressing me out. I do, although I do have my public speaking test tomorrow, I'm not too worried about that. This is just a test that I'm trying to get out the way so I can feel like a free woman, you know? So yeah, I'll let y'all know how it goes when I'm done. Uh, so do y'all know what this means? <laughs> that means that your girl is done with her multicultural American literature final. I'm over with it. I'm happy. I felt good about this. Like. I should get a strong B on this. I felt pretty good about everything. It was just the matter of the fact of making sure that I answered it the way that she wants it to be answered. So I think I did pretty good. I actually had extra time. I had like around five minutes extra on it. So I think I did good. I went through everything. I looked over it all. I'm excited, y'all. So we're almost there. One more class and we're done. I'll be a free woman. But yeah, I've been doing too many happy dances in this little vlog. But I am so excited, y'all. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I will catch back up with y'all tomorrow for the last test, public speaking. And then I'll be over it. I'll be a free woman. <laughs> Hey y'all, hey y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all already know what day it is. It's the last day of finals, y'all. I am so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I've gotten this far. I'm literally about to pull out my binder and my laptop and take this test right now to get it over with. I'll let y'all know how it went when I'm done because y'all, I'm ready to take this test. I mean, like, I don't want to take tests, but, you know, I'm trying to be over with the test. So, I'm ready to take the test so I can have the rest of my day to myself. So, let's just hop right into it. So, y'all know what that means, y'all. We are done. We are over with first year. First year over. First year over. All of that. Like, y'all, I am so excited. Hey, hey, let me stop. I've been dancing too much in this. But I'm excited. Everything is over. I'm done. I can empty out my binders. I can close all these tabs. I don't know if it's just me, but like 
the feeling that you get when you're able to like close off everything on your stuff and just be over with something is amazing so i'm ready to start my relaxing for the summer before i have to start my summer classes and yeah so i hope final season went good for you guys as well i know everything's been a little rocky and a little crazy going on right now but i hope that you guys have been able to find a way to keep you sane, a way a way to just be happy or whatever because it's just crazy but i hope you guys did good with your finals too and i hope that this next school year will be amazing because it needs to make up for the end of this school year that i missed or whatever but while you guys are here make sure that you guys Follow me on Instagram at I am Cecilia G so you can see more of me, have more input on like what videos I'm making, see what videos I'm making before it happens and all that. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss another video from me. There's so much more coming out because you know the summer is coming up. That means more time. Make sure you guys also hit the notification bell when you subscribe so you're able to be notified whenever a new video of mine comes out. And like this video if you like the video. And comment some things down below. I'm always down there in the comments replying back to y'all and hearting and liking and all that. So make sure y'all do that. And y'all already know my name is Sincerely Dre. And I will see you in the new video. Bye. <laughs>